In the Midwest, it's all about lake life, and, and we have a, a lake place uh, just over the border in Wisconsin. Um, and a guy on the lake uh, had a float plane, and we were able to connect and, and uh, quickly transport it there to be able to spend some quality time there with family and, and people from the lake there. And uh, just incredible. I've never been on a float plane before. Uh, quite an experience, and to be able to do that on my cup day was a lot of fun. Yeah, I figured it's kind of the Tampa fashion nowadays. You got to be on the water at some point with the uh, Stanley Cup, and so. Um, it was a great turnout. Uh, I knew there would be a lot of boats. It was a lot of fun. And like I said, it's a special place for me and my family. So I definitely wanted to get the cup there and, and spend some time and, and share it with the people there as well. Uh, all my nieces and nephews, my kids, uh, my brothers, and, and uh, all my family on my wife's side. And, and it was great to be able to get some great pictures there with the lake in the background. Um, spend some quality time with it and just uh, you know soak it up. Obviously you only get it for one day here so I was glad that they were able to uh, enjoy it for a couple hours. I wanted to get that picture in front of my house uh, where my parents raised me and they made the world to me and I know it meant a lot to them to, to bring the cup there and then call the sack share with my neighborhood. Kids I used to play street hockey with, baseball with, and the cul-de-sac, uh, a lot of time spent out there, so it was uh, important for me to get it out there and let those people see the cup as well. I mean, that's kind of where the dream really starts, I guess, when you start your high school years, uh, you're playing high school hockey, uh, and you dream of, of winning a state championship, you dream of winning a Stanley Cup. Um, it's where you kind of get shaped as a man and, and as an individual and um, the people there are so great so there was no doubt uh, I was going to bring bring the cup back there to the school. My wife and I, we, you know, hockey's a, a part of our lives for uh, many years now and, and we played countless games and spent a lot of hours on that ice sheet and uh, it was great to be able to, uh, you know, have some of the hockey family from that high school uh, share that moment and, and be in the locker room with the current teams and, and hopefully inspire a lot of people like you said. A famous steakhouse here in St. Paul, Mancini Steakhouse. We used to go there for all our birthday dinners, all my brothers and parents, birthday dinners and family and so um, it just seemed right. They've been such great people to us and kind of their signature is the garlic toast that we just love to have. So. Uh, it was, was fun to see that there in the cup and, and share that with the Mancini family. My father was a firefighter. I spent many holiday parties at the fire station and uh, you know, seeing my dad fly out the door at any, any time of day to go help people. And, um, so those are some real heroes for sure. And, and uh, to be able to, to stop there and, and spend some quality time with them and um, just allow them to kind of soak it up as well and, and share the cup with them uh, means the world to me. At the end of the day, it's just been a great time for my family and friends and uh, being able to soak this up for, for them and, and for everybody, uh, just incredible. And, and like I said, we didn't get that opportunity last the year before, so it, it even hits home even more this time because uh, you know we didn't get it the year before. So I'm excited and, and uh, looking forward to another fun few hours before the cup goes home for the night. <laughs>